consider supporting Angel Nightmare on Patreon for just a dollar a month to keep this content uncensored and unfiltered. Link below in the description. Unless them niggas weird as fuck I don't give a fuck about these motherfuckers Listen up I don't even care about a Lambo I don't need no flexion shit Cause I'm a lot to handle Now that I'm joining the rap game I'll be needing this Yeah Yep, yep Turning my life over for good Now we just need to Add some tattoos Yep Yep Uh huh Oh yeah, getting swagged out. I'm a real rapper now. Now, now it's officially my time to shine. Now that I look like a real rapper, I can go in here and get on this booth. Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare. And welcome to the Friday Nightmare Show. So, unfortunately, this is going to be a short show. This has been a really rough week. I'm preparing for finals. I've had a lot of papers to write. Thankfully, the winter semester is almost over. Next week is still going to be kind of rocky with the uploads because that is finals weeks and I got a project to finish and a paper to finish. I don't think I'll take this many classes in wintertime ever again. I thought about doing a summer semester, but I don't know, man. I think I'm just going to... I'm going to skip out the summer semester. I'm already... This is it's just, this is hard. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Oprah is not running for president. In an interview with InStyle magazine, Oprah said, I've always felt very secure and confident with myself in knowing what I could do and what I could not do. And so it's not something that interests me. I don't have the DNA for it. I'm not going to lie. I love Oprah. And I thought that she would have made a good president. But I don't think that she would have won. And the reason why is because she actually cares about the environment and the people and her attacking the meat industry a few years ago and winning that lawsuit against them was like a really like that was like the main thing that made me like be like yo oprah she's legit and pretty much what she did was she's she exposed all the ways that uh the meat industry was unethical how it wasn't good for you and the bad practices that they were doing at these slaughterhouses the meat industry tried to sue oprah for libel saying that it was unsafe for people but she ended up winning the lawsuit and i think that's awesome because fuck the meat industry uh yeah fuck the meat industry <laughs> and just an oprah and that kind of executive power i would like to see her you know just make some huge changes just like you know to help the people in the environment. And I wanted the same out of Bernie Sanders. What are you guys' opinion on it? Were you for Oprah being for president? Next, I just wanna let you guys know that Tech 9 came out with a new single called Don't Nobody Want Nine. Is that what it's called? And it is amazing. It's uh, got a remake of an old, like, instrumental that I remember from my childhood. And I don't remember the name of it. If I do, I'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's got like that old like 80s feel and he's like rapping over it and it, it's so cool It's so fun to listen to because it's so the child's nostalgic It kind of reminds me of my childhood and then it's got like, you know It's even the even the flow in his lyrics got that old like 80s early 90s rap kind of vibe and Check it out if you want to you know your boy loves the 80s Reminds me of the better times when I didn't exist next thing Toys R Us across the world is closing down a bunch of shops to battle their bankruptcy. Sentimental reason why it makes me sad. I didn't even really shop at Toys R Us a lot throughout my entire life, so I could kind of understand why it's going down. I've never heard anybody say, oh, we're gonna go to Toys R Us. No, I've never heard that. But when the Nintendo Wii came out, me and my mom looked everywhere. We looked all over the place. We were calling places. They're like, oh no, we just sold the last one. Like, oh, we get a shipment in on Wednesday. We were calling like Walmart, GameStop, Best Buy, Target, Kmart, Circuit City. The Circuit City exists back then? I don't even remember. We were calling everywhere. No, no, go there on Wednesday. They're like, oh man, we all we sold all three of them that we had. And like literally, we went everywhere. We called Toys R Us. One of the employees there is like, yo, we got a tip that there's gonna be some here early on like Thursday, but you gotta get here at like 6 a.m. cause they're gonna open the store early and they're gonna give out tickets. And I'm like, oh, okay. Me and my mother went to Toys R Us. 
We get there, we get in, there's, there's like this line, line of people. We get in line to hand out tickets, and then like, like, there was like a whole line of people that showed up like right after us, and then like two people after us, they got the last little ticket to get their, their Nintendo Wii, and damn, man, Toys R Us really hooked your boy up with the Nintendo Wii. Anyway, the list of Toys R Us that are, are going closed, or I'm gonna put it in the description, so, if you see your Toys R Us, your local Toys R Us there, go check and see what shit they got on clearance, especially video games. Go get all of that shit and then send it to me. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't do that. Very next thing I just wanted to talk about is get your flu shot. It's only 30% effective this year, but that's 30% chance that you have of surviving more. Uh, so far, I think around 120 people have died in the United States from the flu. It is really bad this year. Uh, it's almost bad every year, uh, but this particular strain took out a lot of people back in 2014, I think. This was when it's worse as it is now. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I didn't prepare, prepare for this video. And also, wash your hands. Get some hand sanitizer, wash your face, be safe, be safe. Around 700,000 people have been hospitalized already from the flu, and that shit is scary. I know that's not a lot of people compared to how many people are in the world. I mean, I live in LA, there's 700,000 people on the sidewalk right now. Not really, but you know, still be safe. Uh, there's still a chance. Get the flu shot, wash your hands every three seconds, the hand sanitizer don't rub your eyes and touch your nose and your face after doing some crazy shit touch some shit so get you some hand sandy some hand sandy not sponsored now we're just going to look at some comments i didn't get very many this week because i didn't upload very much this week we're just going to look at a couple i think i'm going to limit myself to five because i got to get this video done i got to edit this ambrose J says inspiration i want to change my look like i don't want to be the way i am because i don't feel like myself but i feel like just I just can't change my appearance because people will just go crazy and be really rude about it. I, I'm going to talk about this a lot on this channel, but you only have one life to live, theoretically. I feel there's something that really inspires you in your life, something that you really want to attempt or do, that you should do it because you want to. You have to keep in mind that if you have internal acceptance, you don't need external acceptance. You don't have to change who you are or conform to something just so you don't offend someone else or you're not who they want you to be, pretty much. You need to be yourself. You need to be fearless of doing different things. I know it's really easy to like to be pressured by society to do and say what most people want you to do, but you have to remember at the end of the day, Every, every day when you lay down and go to sleep, you're you're the only one that's there with your thoughts. You're the only one that's going to be happy about what you've done in your life. You have to look back on your life and you have to, you're going to have to ask yourself, did I enjoy my life because it's what I wanted to do or because I was trying so hard not to, to step on the toes of the people around me who actually ended up not really mattering in the first place because a lot of people are going to come and go in your life at all. And if you just try to like form fit to what they want you to be and then they just leave out of your life and now you're stuck with all this like like suppression of this idea that you are supposed to be like like this because this person told you to you you just have to keep in mind that none of that shit really matters you got to be yourself unapologetically wholeheartedly and just don't be afraid I, I, that's all I have to say. Mini Yadrasil says, I know it's a boring trad goth go-to, but would you consider doing a Susie Sue look? Yes, I will actually. And, um, I'm going to do like an ex extreme versions of it and like normal versions of it in the future. Those are like kind of plans that I have in the back of my head for like makeup videos. I'm probably going to have a, a, a week where I'll do like all trad goth or death rock styles. Unusually, Anik says... You should totally get t-shirts made that say, blend till your arm gets buff. Thank you for that idea. <laughs> I actually would do that. I'm actually working on getting a Nightmare Gang shirt up on the, um, on the, uh, merch store. I'm probably going to edit that when I have some time. 
uh, this weekend. So look out for some new shirts and you might see a blend to your arm get buff shirt. So I'm gonna shout out my homeboy, Unusually Unique. Check out his YouTube channel. Marley O'Malley says, what are you in school for again? It's great that you're killing it. I'm in school uh, as a double major for mathematics and computer science. And I said this on the live stream last night, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing computer science. I decided to add mathematics on there because legitimately you have to take all of the same classes, except for like, you have to take two more math classes. So I was like, I might as well take those two extra math class classes and then I can get your boy can get the bi the bachelor's degree in mathematics and bachelor's degree in computer science at the same time. So, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm also trying to trying to do the winter and summer semesters as well so I can get this done faster because unfortunately in California, a bachelor's degree is not 4 years. It's longer than that because sometimes it's hard to get in classes with the population and I'm going to try to take as many classes as possible at the community college even classes that are not required for transfer that way when i do transfer i don't have to worry about like going semester after semester waiting to get in this one class to graduate so i'm gonna try to take and also it's gonna be cheaper to do it at a community college than it would be one thousand for the semester for like four classes or pay like six seven thousand dollars per semester actually it might not be that much i think it's like three thousand but that's, that's three thousand dollars every four months come on yeah you know so I'm gonna try, try my best to stay in the cheap community college and get as much as I can done here uh, in the next two two years, two and a half years, and uh, try to do the summer and the uh, winter semesters so I can get everything done, go to college, and then do my last year, hopefully there, to get the, the rest of what I can't do here, and then diplomas. I just wanna give a shout out to all my patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You guys being there for me means that uh, I can continue to do makeup videos and do more stuff and build up my arsenal of things. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, smack that bell button, bite that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.